welcome back everyone it's angela here it's great to have you i am going to bring you a really quick little video today so it won't be long just wanted to share with you how i put these little butterflies together that i used on my last video so i said i would do it if you were interested so here i am okay so it was this little butterfly here it's got a little bit of a dimension um, and looks ever so cute it's not dead flat on on our page and i think that these would have a lot of uses in our journals even on cards gifts name places anything like that so really quick to do and i've got a couple of options for to share with you so let's get to it all right so let's start with the f uh, a couple of things that you need first of all right i have used my um glue here this is my fabri-tac glue um it's just in a sugar bell bottle so that's that um i've also used um some stickles i hope you can see that this one's called crystal so it's really can go with any color um get this off amazon all the stuff's on my amazon favorite tools list so that's that um i've also got a little pokey tool base this is just a piece of packaging it's foam, high density foam, and I use this whenever I've got to make little holes. Um, you need a pokey tool. The, th the thicker the nib, the better. This one's quite thin, but I might end up using my Spellbinders tool-in-one, which I use for my die cuts. It's got a bigger um, point, so there's one of those kind of things. If you've got some tweezers in your cosmetic set, go grab them or some crafting tweezers. That's good. A pair of scissors like this. Um, and then um, quite a few decorative elements for the body. So I've just grabbed a couple of the pearls, half, half, half pearls. Um, it doesn't matter if they stick sticky or not. These are, but I always put on more glue. So um, grab some of those. And then what you'll need um, to make the body are little flowers all right so these are lots of the little flowers that i have now the important thing to remember about these little flowers um, is that they need to have five petals all right it doesn't matter what size it is the size will um you choose will determine the end result of your butterfly and that depends if you want to make it a feature or just a small element on a page all right, this one here is just an inch in size. If you have a look there, it's an inch. Um, so two and a half centimeters, but you can have any size you want. So these make really small butterflies, but of course you can um, increase the flower size, but just make sure they don't have more than five petals. That's the important bit. Okay, these are just paper. Right, if you've got a, st um, a punch that will punch out five petals, that's going to work as well. All right, so try that as well. You don't need to have the hole in the middle. That's not going to be an issue at all. Okay, so that's that. The other thing I then did was take these little um, flowers I was making from my spring foliage dye. I've been using these um, with my Baking Bliss project. Um, and these are also great to make the little feelers with i nearly said antlers so what i did was i cut them in a neutral tone so here we go and i've gone with a smaller one only because it's got five little petals on it uh, the bigger one has got six so that's not going to work you want to use the smaller ones um, with the five sides okay so that's what I, you need as well um, since then I've been messing around even further um, and I did go and pull out some of these little stamens that you use to make artificial flowers if you've got these. Um, I've had these for a while. These also come from Amazon. You can get them anywhere I'm sure, florists. But these also make great little feelers as well. All right. So that's what we're going to need and it's a really quick job really quick job so here i can show you this is one i've made um gosh i hope you can see this this is one i've made using the little uh, flower die over there um and then this is one i've made uh, with a bigger pearl i'm using the stamens all right so i hope you can see that 
all right so that's that's what we're going to have a little go at so let's let's just make a start of it because i mean you could go and make piles of these ready to use on any project you want to in a number of colors so i've pulled out piles of these little pastel flowers and these are always great even for making clusters and all sorts of things so i do like to use these um so i've got loads of them here and we're just going to do a few of these together even take the paler ones because you can add uh, different bodies so we'll we'll work with that right so grab um one or two of those um and what you want to do is grab your pokey tool as well you can use a large needle if you don't have a pokey tool something like a darning needle something like this it's going to work as well so don't think oh i don't have this i don't have that all right just go and look what you do have um even a skewer for baking would do the job here right now you want to um look at the flower and these four petals here are going to make the wings yeah so this one over the top here is the one that you want to bend back i bend it back this is just me messing about and i thought oh one of them was like that in my little jar here um and i thought it looked like a butterfly i thought Oh my gosh, I'm going to do something with that. All right, so what have I got for feelers? And I went to those little things over there, the little flowers. All right, so you want to bend the top petal back so that you've got your four um, wings on the side there. Okay, then I bent it back again. So I've got a little fold line there now, a little fold line. That's um, given me a guide of where I want to make the hole. So you want to sort of gauge on that fold line in the middle and make a fair size hole and you can see um, the holes quite big and just maneuver this around to make it as big as you want all right a fair size hole we're going to fold that back you're not going to see it um, and then go and grab um, your little flower remember it needs to be the one with five in this case you might have something else you could use so go and have a look and then i'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to keep the two at the top and the one at the bottom. This is the one I'm going to glue it down with. And this bit over here is the bit I'm going to chop off. So try and get that quite neat on the side. Me and my fiddly jobs, I am sorry. But you know, this was quite satisfying to do. Right, so you've got a little Y here now. <laughs> Something that looks like a Y. Now that bit's going to be the head that bit there's the head and those are the two feelers and this is the bit we're going to secure it with all right <laughs> so now you pick up your little flower you thread the little bot the, the long bit of the y through there and just pull that as close to the the fold as possible so you want to pull that as close as you can to the hole all right um it's fiddly it is fiddly so i'm holding it with my finger turn it over like that and again just pull that little bit down keep it straight and match it up to the between the two wings at the bottom there like that and then we want to take our fabric tack and we want to put some glue on that top petal that we've been folding down and don't be shy with the glue okay now you've got that there you're just going to fold that down like that and press it okay press it until the glue takes which won't be long right now you can turn it around you've got that nice and flattened there now you can turn that around while that's drying and we can just lift up the little petals it's not a crisis you can do this at the very end like that so you've got the little head and the little feelers there okay we'll put that down to the side now i'm going to do one with the other so i've got a white one here again my four wings i'm going to fold them the the middle petal here down all right uh, again we're going to make the little hole on that fold line fair size oops <laughs> all right and then i'm going to take um one of these little stamens going to fold it in half like this and squash that bottom together now that does need to be pretty flat to fit through the hole 
all right so get that through there and pull those down a little bit okay now turn it over i shouldn't have used a cream one to show you and um, now this looks like a bit of the body uh, you know like the actual body um there's the middle of those two bottom base wings i just want to get that uh, sort of centralized there like that okay doesn't matter if that sticks out it just looks like a bit of the body and then again I'm going to put some glue over here and I'm also going to oh sorry a bit further down just to get the base ones in place and then again some glue on the top petal the one that you folded down like that and I'm going to just fold that down okay all right let's give it a good squeeze with the fingers and now you can just split your stamens like that there's glue strands all over the place sorry um just split those like that and then just while you're holding the middle there but, um, just give it a slight angle, one to each side, a little bit. All right. Now that'll dry nicely like that, so you can see it better on that on the black base. All right. Okay, so we've got that there. Those are drying nicely. It doesn't take very long to dry, but I've got some others here that I haven't uh, that are dry. Okay, so there's the the green one. Um and. A little purple one okay I'll leave it on here because I think it's easier for you to see right then all I did was I took my little crystal stickles um, I've had this a long time I've got to give it a good squeeze and then you just want to from the body uh, very thinly I've got the straight on the leaf or leaf the petal I'm just running a little bit of, of this over there now you don't have to do this this is just me brightening it up a little bit all right there's one i'm just holding it with my finger um just to secure it and then uh, you don't want this thick so hold it straight on the leaf i'm holding it right on the petal sorry not the leaf um to to put bring out the minimal amount really is the minimal amount and then just with the nib i am just distributing that like that okay i'm going to try and lift one up now so there's that then i've also got um some silver here uh so i thought well let's try it on the white one so i'll lift this one up i'm going to try and angle it so you can get a better view so you can see so i've i've got this out here i've got my finger just to hold the petal okay and then i've got the nib right on there like that and i just want to if it ever comes out put some on this on the raised bits really all right and you can use any color you have gold silver blue clear whatever okay so just right on there on those raised bits so it's not much at all and then this one which is the last one all right so there we go we've got some different options there okay those are gonna dry um oh and i've got one more to do okay so um Yeah, that's better. Here we go. And then this last one here. Thump it on the table if it's not cooperating. Right. While those dry there like that, um, you're then able to go and put on your little bodies. All right. So I've used a selection of pearls. Um, and I'm going to try some different ones here. So firstly, we're going to start with this little one over here. Um, and this is really easy to do these small ones. I got all of these from um, Amazon. I've got my little knife here 
I'm going to measure, let's say, four of these. They're in little strips like that. Um, and this is where the tweezers come into play. So uh, you want to just take your, your glue again, any glue. Art glitter glue works well with this as well. And um, pick up your pearls. Um, these ones that are in a little strip work well, so you don't have to battle um, lining them up. And then just push those down there. Even the, the, the you know, your cosmetic tweezers would do the job. Okay. Okay, so just push it down a little bit. Um, then on the other ones here, um, I've got slightly bigger pearls. These are individual pearls. Um, and again, you want to just put some glue down here in the middle where you want your pearls to go. These ones spring all over the place, so just bear with me. Try and do it um, one. These are bigger. And you get all sorts of colors of pearls as well. Um, so, you know. And how cute is that? So we've got two now done. Um, and then we'll do that again on this one. Oh, that was a bit much. Um, oh, I know what I'm going to do there now. Right, so I'm going to go with the bigger pearls now. And... Um, These ones uh, are also in a, a strip. I just want to cut off. They ha you have the strip of like adhesive to stick them onto a, a card. And then, um, now it's stuck on my finger. I'm going to stick one of those on there. Like that. And then I'm going to try a pink one on there. I've got blue ones as well. Um, again, probably easier just to use your knife. Your scissors are going to work just as well, to be honest. Um, because this one's got no other colour, I'm going to try a pink one like that. All right, so there's the little butterflies. Let me see if I can lift this up and you can see how cute that is. Hopefully you can see. All right, so at this point, um, you can start molding the, le the leaves listen to me the petals how you want them and of course you can do that as well when you stick it on your project all right so um they get a little bit of dimension okay now the other thing i did was i took these and put them on some paper clips so uh, these are really cute as well so I'm hoping you can see that. Um, and those would make great little additions to pages as well. You could put little dangles on here or anything else at the top as well. Dangle from underneath the top of that paper clip. All right, so I'll show you quickly how to do that. Very easy. Um, take your paper clip. I'm using these rose gold ones. Um, I've got glue and glitter everywhere. Now I've got the two loops at the base. And what you want to do is I've got a 15 millimeter. So you're looking at, oh, what is that in inches? You're looking at, no, not that. You're looking at just over half an inch um, circle. I want to just thread that at the top here. So in between these two bits. So you want the two loops at the base for your paper clip. And you want to just put a little circle. This is going to be the bit that you are going to adhere your butterfly to. All right, that's so just a scrappy piece. You want to then put um, a fair amount of glue on this base. All right, so I'll use my fabric tack and hopefully you can see that there's a fair amount of glue on there. Right, and then what you want to do is you want to take one of your little butterflies. Let's take the little yellow one. Um, and then you want to place that onto that circle there now do this when they are dry all right um otherwise do it before you put on your um decorative bits so you can do it before you put on your stickles and your your pearl as well i've done it like that all right and then just lift these up slightly They're, these are free it's just the middle bit that's sticking all right so you've got that stuck on there now and you leave that overnight those all dry perfectly 
all right and that's how you do it on a paper clip now i've had these overnight and these work perfectly well all right absolutely perfectly well you can put that onto any project um and it's gonna go right down onto the page like that all right so um i leave them overnight just to dry and then you can do whatever it is that you want with them all right everyone i hope that you have some fun with this just want to move my little pearl a bit over um it was great fun and i'm going to uh, make a pile of these um for uh, uh, future projects because i think they just are so adorable and i can't help myself with butterflies and with spring coming you know they're perfect for that all right everyone a quick little video i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think and give it a go and i'll see you very soon um in a couple of um days for the next video stay well bye bye